Hello everyone. Uh, today I was uh, requested to talk about B12 and um, if you are deficient in B12, what do we do about it? So B12 is, B12 actually comes to our body. B12 is a vitamin that comes to our body uh, via the soil. It is not really available in any food, um, uh, food enzymes or natural foods or any such thing. So um, see, as a human being, we are uh, when we are uh, supposed to live in nature or depend on things from nature, we depend on the air, we depend on water, we depend on the soil. So all the um, gross elements like the earth, the water and the fire, which are all the gross elements that um, we are made up of. So from earth, there is a dependency of this B vitamin coming into our body, right? So how do we, uh, in the past, um, the, the man who was living like a primate, uh, he would basically be in the wild and he would drink uh, sources of natural water, uh, river, water from the rivers, the streams and things like that. Or he would drink water that was collected from rains which was collected on the leaves and things like that so it was things were natural and then he would not be so he would not be uh, what you say hygiene driven so today we are uh, we we are always washing our hands with soap and things like that right so we are basically on the hygiene side we use um, we use chemicals in our house uh, even if we are not using chemicals, we do think about washing our hands and many of these things because we are uh, habituated to grow like that. We are uh, we are living in one such environment where we are uh, told that dust is bad and if food falls on the dust or if food falls on the ground, we wash it and eat it. But so it is it is a lot of belief systems that have basically got piled up uh, from the past. But early man never used to think so much. He would just pick up things from the ground. He would live like an animal or even at least close to an animal's life. So there was nothing like uh, uh, there was a tap of water and he had to wash. So the availability of water was very scarce. So he had to depend on things that were already available in nature. So, and so with this kind of a lifestyle, um, uh, all the germs that were naturally available from earth would, would, would enter his body through the skin or through the nails and the mouth and things like that. So it was all um, it was all naturally entering through the pores of the body or the orifices of the body, right? So this is how B12, so the B12 bacteria survives the, uh, the stomach acids, which is the hydrochloric acid and things like that. And it has to reach the ileum, which is the last part of the small intestine where exactly the B12 bacteria is created by these natural germs that get into our body. So this vitamin is essential for a lot of our processes because uh, in what processes and things like that, that is a that will become too scientific for us to think about. But common sense perspective says that if we are dependent on earth uh, for certain uh, working of our body, then I'm sure there is a role that earth is also playing because we have the earth element, which is coming, which is the, our flesh. Uh, and flesh and bones and all the solid things that we have uh, or solid parts that we have in us is all earth element right for that earth element to function there must be something coming from earth to naturally nourish it and things like that so i totally believe that b12 should be coming like that inside our body but unfortunately the entire world is uh, depleted of this majorly because we have no connection with the soil uh, first thing. Second thing is we don't have that kind of a quality food that we get. We are living in the cities majorly and uh, we are most of us are not living in the countryside. We don't grow our food, right? So all of these issues um, have is a have kept us at a disadvantage. So we are all naturally depleted of these germs that has to enter our body and then give us a certain nutrition component inside our body. So that is why I'm saying that B12 is um, B12 depletion 
is a uh, even if i don't say i mean i don't know whether it, uh, sh i should call it b12 because i have not researched on it but i would say that these kind of germs that have to enter our body and we are we are uh, deprived of those kinds of germs so that is one thing so many people say that uh, plant eaters or vegans or uh, plant based consumers are naturally or usually deficient in b12 that is not the case because these germs that are uh, entering our body if they were if uh, plant based eaters um, uh, are consuming it then the gut would be uh, i'm speaking about plant based eaters who are consumers who are eating uh, he who, who are leaning towards a healthy lifestyle not uh, not plant based eaters who are basically uh consuming foods that are highly processed or refined and things like that uh, no i'm i'm talking about uh, people who have a healthy whole food plant based kind of nutrition so those uh, the gut will be relatively uh, alkaline uh, so in that sense the b12 bacteria or the, sorry the the prebiotic germs that are available in the soil um are naturally available outside who are sus surviving all kinds of climatic conditions the winds the rains the harsh sunlight the wind and things like that right so all of these uh, natural environment uh, environmental conditions is what they um, uh, get exposed to and they survive so such bacteria also will be able to survive this kind of an environment that we, we have in the gut and then it will be able to reach the small intestine and make uh, and uh, create whatever we uh, vitamin b12 which is supposed to be created and that vitamin b12 uh, will be used in our body processes especially the liver um so this is what happens with plant based eaters but then when we let's say we come to non uh, non vegans or uh, people who are consuming dairy and animal based products so what happens there is it definitely so animals don't eat Uh, don't wash their foods and things like that so when of uh, when grass is fed to the animals and um, or meat is uh, their meat is consumed so the what do you say the articles and other scientific research says that their the meat or the uh, dairy contains this b12 bacteria or these bacteria which basically enters our body and then uh that is how the the non vegetarians or non vegans get this bacteria but in my opinion um when meat is consumed it is basically cooked because nobody as far as i know eats raw meat so in so i'm sure those kind of bacteria don't survive that those temperatures um so in my opinion i don't think this non vegetarian food which is cooked basically contains this bacteria coming to dairy since uh, uh, i don't know whether the bacteria survives the processing process of which happens in the dairy industry so i can't say whether the bacteria survives there but then assuming that these two um the meat and the dairy comes with these kinds of germs um it cannot survive in the gut majorly because the once these foods get processed in our get processed in the gut they create a very acidic environment and uh, such bacteria will not be able to survive there so predominantly all of the people in the world unless you are uh, on a completely natural uh lifestyle where you are uh, working towards ensuring that these bacteria survive you are deficient now how do we rectify it first thing is we will have to switch to maybe a very very healthy diet a majorly alkaline diet um which which uh, which ensures that these germs survive so these germs are first so that is one thing second thing is ensure that uh, or see if you can maybe cultivate a garden maintain a garden with organic soil 
and uh, start eating those kinds of uh, the produce that comes from that organic soil uh, without washing at least every day at least some of it every day so that is uh, and work with that organic soil and the produce that comes from this organic soil um, will have although all these uh, uh, germs which are called which are probably prebiotic germs which are on the surface of these fruits vegetables and greens when you eat them without washing they naturally enter your system and they enter it enter through your nails when you are um, uh, when you say when you don't when you work with the soil and all that so so this is how you can actually get it but when your uh, when your system is unhealthy and you have a uh, issue with such germs surviving in your gut then whether they uh, when they come also they will not be able to survive and you will def still be deficient the other way um, if you are not able to mimic any of these environments is to take a supplement and um, uh, dr nandita shah has recommended some of these supplements in the sharan website uh, so you can also take a look at it and then maybe follow those recommendations but in my opinion i think if you are able to uh, sustain a very good alkaline uh, lifestyle and also see alkalinity not just comes from food it also comes from your uh, mental uh, the way you think the way your emotions play out if you are highly stressed out your gut is naturally uh, going to even uh, become uh, acidic in nature so it is very important that you as a whole holistic lifestyle you you um, you maintain mental poise um read uh, read uh, what do you say lifestyle books like bhagavad gita which uh, where krishna lord krishna has spoken a lot about how to live a life as a human being and what are the rules that you'll have to uh, what rules you'll have to follow to lead a very happy lifestyle so many many of these things are actually followed the mind part is taken care of and then the, coming to the food part when you are able to follow a very very high raw lifestyle to with uh, with a good spread of uh, fruits vegetables greens and uh, nuts and uh, even if you are having dinner uh, even if you are having one meal of cooked food and that cooked food is oil free uh, gluten free um, and uh, predominantly grain free all i um, mean uh, every now and then at least so there will be some amount of balance that we can expect but yeah um, i'm sh i think that we we'll have to first look at case to case basis and see how to address it um um for example uh, i was deficient in the past but then i am not taking any supplements now i used to take supplements in the past i am not taking any supplements now and i don't have any health issues that are um, uh, that i can think of or that is bothering me at this time i am majorly uh, working on uh, what do you say my mind and emotions and uh, belief systems and things like that so typically the body is a reflection of your mind and if you are able to address those root causes then the body naturally aligns to that way of thinking so if you are able to uh, work on those kinds of aspects with a with a lot of uh, what do you say um uh, consistency uh, your body also body will not no longer need to be sick to um to basically uh, with these kind of deficiencies and things like that so in my opinion uh, all these things that we work in the real world in the physical in the um, whether it is food or anything uh, whether we are fixing all these lifestyle issues with the uh, general food based lifestyle it is a temporary thing until you are able to get to a consciousness state to work with your mind and once you are able to at least slowly get to that state start working on that uh, very very uh, diligently and uh, over time your body will not need to be sick because you'll 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 be working on your subconscious patterns um to fix it but then while you get there i suggest that you keep your body 
with a cleaner lifestyle with a plant based lifestyle so that um, you can you you are relatively clean to basically uh, see a clean gut will actually keep your thoughts clean so when your thoughts are clean when your thoughts are when your thoughts are basically judgment free and you are working on your own um, healing and you're not, you're not basically constantly stressed out with people and the interpersonal relationships are not a problem anymore so many of these things have to be fixed i'll i'll be working on those videos uh, those kinds of topics in the upcoming videos but then yeah coming to b12 i think if you are not able to replicate any of those kinds of ideal environments uh, with the uh, clean eating and all with the uh, organic gardening and eating uh, a good way to do it is also growing microgreens with uh, some organic soil um so just ensure that if you can uh, work uh, uh, get something into your system which is straight from nature see beyond all these things over many many generations these things have uh, the the quality of the baby the quality of the babies that people are producing or the uh, being produced has been depleted over over the generations because the babies which are born uh, are born um what do you say with a baseline of whatever has been passed on to them as toxins or uh, patterns of uh, inefficiency from their ancestors so beyond that they make their own inefficiencies that is the second thing because of their lifestyle so if these inefficiencies of uh, maybe producing the b12 was also there in the previous generations then those kinds of patterns will also show up in current generations so we we have we have a lot of uh, what do you say permutations and combinations for b12 to happen um so if you, if uh, if you are not able to maybe work on all these things that i spoke about then yeah supplement is the only way for you but uh, there is no guarantee that uh, supplement so supplementation is also temporary because it is also going to buy you some time to get to fixing your emotional patterns and belief systems and things like that right ultimately we have to ensure that as a uh, in this body how we are going to basically align with the soul's way of thinking so everything is eventually going to lead us there so all our experiences will have to lead us there and whether it is food whether it supplements whatever everything is going to buy us time clean us keep us give us that kind of a prep props they are all props to help us get us there get help us to get there so if that is not happening and if you are not focusing on trying to get there then these things are just temporary and it may not really help in the long run so yeah i hope i have uh, answered your questions if you have any doubts please uh, share in the comments below thank you